ABC 15 investigators, more issues inside the Tempe Police Department. An entire unit has left in the span of just months. We previously reported on Tempe's Forensic Services Unit, where we found they were using expired chemicals, outdated equipment, and did not have standard protocols to process crime scenes. Now, the ABC 15 investigators exposing problems inside the Technical Services Unit a unit that is essential for police officers by servicing things like laptops inside police vehicles and body cameras, as well as updating various electronic equipment. Here's ABC 15 investigator Nicole Grigg with an update on her ongoing reporting. Tempe police telling us they have three people now handling the responsibilities for the technical services unit, but multiple sources telling me there's no full time employees in TSU and the four who were there have all resigned in just the past five months. Tempe's technical services unit sits inside this police substation off Apache Boulevard. Internal emails given to the ABC 15 investigators say due to recent temporary staffing changes in TSU, the office will not be staffed on a regular basis. What does that say if all four employees have left this unit? That tells me there's very poor management at Tempe Police Department. Bob Brunanski, a former Phoenix police detective with decades of experience, describes the technical services unit like IT for police officers and detectives. We asked him to review an internal affairs summary shared with the ABC 15 investigators. The investigation into the former manager of the unit, Angelique Beltran, who has since resigned. The report detailing how decisions were made public funds wasted and officers forced to work with older equipment and dated technology. If you have a computer that's not up to date, you're not going to get the same amount of information. You put junk in, you're going to get junk out. These photos shared with ABC 15 investigators by a former Tempe police officer who resigned in 2023 show brand new Panasonic laptops for officers sitting in boxes for years. The price tag, nearly $4,000 each. Investigators writing that 431 laptops were ordered and quote, and hundreds of them sat in storage without being deployed. And that means that patrol didn't have them, the detectives didn't have them. And what this does is it costs the taxpayers a lot more money because when you have to write things out in hand instead of putting them into a computer, it takes time. The investigation found that the program on officers' laptops had not been updated in seven years, and that has set the police department behind in many areas, including programs that have safety components for officers. The outdated software has prevented Tempe police from moving to modern-day technology. Tempe has been trying to move towards electronic accident reports for nearly 10 years. Officers still have to write reports by hand, and they're mailed in to ADOT. This report, this summary that we have, this is from 2022, and they're still not on this system, and it's 2024. So and that it's means been how many years? Two more years since that. That's right. And again, you have to ask the chief of police. What's going on? Why is this taking so long? And let him make the decision. I asked Tempe police to share any documentation on when electronic ticketing and accidents will fully move forward, but they did not answer that question. As for wasting taxpayer dollars, it's hard to put a dollar amount on it. But in addition to the laptops sitting for years, there were also printers that cost over $65,000 that were not used. And Tempe was paying Verizon $40 for each of those computers every month for their data plan, resulting and taxpayers paying an estimated $83,000 on that. Well, I'm a firm believer that the buck stops with the chief. The chief of police is the one that sets the tone. And if this has been going on for years, then it's the chief's responsibility to correct it. And if he didn't correct it, then he wasn't doing his job. And so now you have a new chief. Who walks into chaos. And it's going to take him maybe a year or two to get that squared away. 
Tempe police would not go on camera for my story, but said in a statement that this happened under previous administration and that there's no room for this type of incompetence in Tempe police or the city. This story is just scratching the surface into the technical services unit as there appears to be deep rooted issues here. Our investigations into that and also the unit that processes crime scenes are not over. I'm investigator Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, we know you'll stay on it, Nicole. Thank you.